Two Republican House Intelligence Committee staffers traveled to London earlier this summer in a secret bid to contact the British spy who compiled the infamous Watersports dossier on Donald Trump, it has been reported. The pair were tasked with locating former MI6 agent, Christopher Steele, in what Democrats fear was a bid to discredit allegations of collusion between Russia and the 2016 Trump campaign. The pair were dispatched by Intelligence Committee Chair, David Nunes, an ally of the President who stepped down from the Russia investigation over alleged bias and unethical conduct, but has since been accused of continuing to interfere, PA wire per images Christopher Steele, the former MI6 agent who set up Orbis Business Intelligence and compiled a dossier on Donald Trump. The dossier in question, published in full by BuzzFeed News in January, contained lurid allegations see below against Trump who dismissed it at the time as mad up junk. A recently as last month, the president said, now that was totally mad up stuff. I know a lot about those guys, they're phony guys. They make up whatever they want. Just not my thing. Plus, I have witnesses, because I went there with a group of people. But it made headlines around the world mainly due to the allegation Trump had hired prostitutes to perform Golden Shower's urination show in front of him. Steele, 53, went into hiding shortly after the dossier was made public but his lawyer is reported to have been in contact with the House Intelligence Committee since. The Republican approaches to Steele have stoked tension between the simultaneous Russia probes being conducted by the House and Senate. House Intelligence Committee Republicans did not inform Democrats on the panel, the Senate Intelligence Committee a special counsel Robert Mueller who behind the scenes is assembling an army of prosecutors and investigators. Here's a reminder of what Watersportsgate was all about. 1. We don't know if the allegations are true the claims had been reported before, they aren't independently verified, and even the man who originally broke the story warned readers to treat them cautiously, but they were taken seriously enough to warrant the U.S. intelligence service's attention. We also haven't seen how much of this information the intelligence community thought was worth mentioning or able to find some verification for in the top page document that was reportedly presented to Barack Obama and Trump. To the source the dossier on Trump was compiled still as part of an opposition research project originally financed by a Republican client who opposed Trump, and later funded by Democrats, according to Mother Jones. He later turned over the report to the FBI who in turn showed some of its contents to Obama and Trump. Interesting sting in the tale of the Alpha Group, Friedman Dimension in the Trump Russia Report, pick.twitter.com Adams, Alexander Clarkson at AF Clarkson, January 10, 2017. The memos discuss videos covertly recorded by the FSB Russian Security Services in a Moscow hotel room in 2013 and cites Sorsty as saying Trump's conduct included hiring prostitutes to perform a golden shower's urination show in front of him. 3. Trump was told about the allegations a week before they went public. A summary of the allegations was separate from a classified assessment of Russia's suspected attempts to meddle in the U.S. presidential election. Trump and Obama were reportedly briefed on the intelligence community's findings early in January. It's unclear why the intelligence officials decided to brief the then-president and Trump on the uncorroborated information at this time, but lawmakers and others have repeatedly noted that Russia collects intelligence on both Democrats and Republicans. The Russians also hacked systems associated with the Republicans. They just chose not to release that material yet, Senator Mark Warner of Virginia, the ranking Democrat on the Senate Intelligence Committee, said at the time. There's nothing that prevents them from doing so at a time of their choosing in the future. For the reports had been circulating for months we chased Ritz Carlton's story in Sept. But we were skeptical about the Golden Showers bit, which seemed too icky for a germaphobe like Trump. Kenneth P. Vogel at Ken Vogel, January 10, 2017. In October, former Senate Minority Leader Harry Reid wrote to the FBI asking the Bureau to publicly disclose what it knew about the Trump campaign's ties to Russia. Reid was aware of the dossier before he wrote the letter, according to a person knowledgeable about the subject who spoke on condition of anonymity. 5. The embarrassing allegation that went viral What piqued the interest of many were allegations Trump paid prostitutes to urinate in front of him on a bed previously slept on by the Obamas, colloquially known as a golden shower. This is what spawned the hashtag Watersportsgate, leading to a smorgasbord of urinary-related puns. Axe now tip for Trump's inauguration Wet Wet Wet, We Papa Girl Rappers, Water Boys, Yellow, Slash from Guns N' Roses Watersportsgate, Michael Hogan at Michael Hogan January 11, 2017 We all know Donald Trump has thin skin but who knew it was so absorbent Watersportsgate, John Wilson at Walterong at January 11, 2017. 
Trump should step down at the earliest public convenience. Golden Showers Water Sports Gate, Alt England's Colony at Morford Gym January 11, 2017 6 Donald Trump definitely doesn't think it's true he was so mad he went full caps lock. Fake news A total political witch hunt, Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump January 11, 2017 and he did and stop there. Russia just said the unverified report paid for by political opponents is a complete and total fabrication, utter nonsense. Very unfair. Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump January 11, 2017 Russia has never tried to use leverage over me. I have nothing to do with Russia no deals, no loans, no nothing. Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump January 11, 2017 I win an election easily, a great movement is verified, and crooked opponents try to belittle our victory with fake news. A sorry state, Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump January 11, 2017 Intelligence agencies should never have allowed this fake news to leak into the public. One last shot at me. Are we living in Nazi Germany? Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump January 11, 2017 Trump's then lawyer and advisor, Michael Cohen, also denied secretly meeting with Russian officials in Prague in August to September of last year to discuss Russian hacking of Democrats. I have never been to Prague in my life. Fake news pick. Twitter.com Macmill 9 Ra 3D, Michael Cohen at Michael Cohen 212 January 11, 2017. Although this too was lampooned as not providing any counter evidence. I have never been to Prague in my life. Fake news at Michael Cohen 212 pick. Twitter.com Kike 4 WQDD, Jeffrey Grubb at Jeff Grubb January 11, 2017. 8 The Kremlin denied it was true. A spokesman for President Vladimir Putin has denied allegations that the Kremlin has collected compromising information about Trump. Spokesman Dmitry Peskov on Wednesday dismissed news reports as a complete fabrication and utter nonsense. Peskov insisted that the Kremlin does not engage in collecting compromising material. And if you can't trust the Russians then who can you trust? Kremlin says does not have compromising material on Trump. The documents are a fabrication, attempt to damage U.S.-Russia relations. Peter Turveld at PTTV January 11, 2017 When the dossier went public, Watersportsgate was top trend in the UK and Golden Showers second in the worldwide charts. Joe you can't just mutter Peters under your breath when we meet him he don't see why not. Peters. It's his name. Golden Showers pick. Twitter.com to Zovio Key 5G, Oliver Willis at O. Willis January 11, 2017 8 A lot of people questioned if BuzzFeed should have published the entire dossier despite the details of the claims being unsubstantiated. BuzzFeed chose to publish them, prompting a heated debate about journalistic ethics. The information is unverified and from anonymous sources, much like a lot of the fake news publishers such as BuzzFeed itself has rallied against. Most news organizations, including the Associated Press, held back on the specific allegations because they had not been substantiated. David Korn, Washington Bureau Chief of Mother Jones, said at the time 1. For those asking, I didn't publish the full memos from the intelligence operative because I could not confirm the allegations, David Korn at David Cornch January 11, 2017 2. I believed it was fair responsible to note that a credible source had provided FBI allegations of Moscow op to co-op Trump, David Korn at David Cornch January 11, 2017 3. I accurately characterized the memos, this is important stuff but didn't publish details. Even Donald Trump deserves journalistic fairness, David Korn at David Cornch January 11, 2017 When breaking the story, CNN also chose not to publish the details saying it has not independently corroborated the specific allegations. BuzzFeed's editor-in-chief tweeted a memo sent to his staff outlining his justification. Here's the note I sent to at BuzzFeed News staff this evening pic.twitter.com Asilos, Ben Smith at BuzzFeed Ben January 11, 2017 As you have probably seen, this evening we published a secret dossier making explosive and unverified allegations about Donald Trump and Russia I wanted to briefly explain to you how we made the decision to publish it We published the dossier, which Ken Bensinger obtained through his characteristically ferocious reporting so that, as we wrote, Americans could make up their own minds about allegations about the president-elect that have circulated at the highest levels of the U.S. government Our presumption is to be transparent in our journalism and to share what we have with our readers, Mr. Smith wrote. We have always erred on the side of publishing. In this case, the document was in wide circulation at the highest levels of American government and media. Publishing this document was not an easy a simple call, and people of good will may disagree with our choice, Mr. Smith added. 
but publishing this dossier reflects how we see the job of reporters in 2017. 9. It was comedy fodder gold.